It's the Daily Dog. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. Uh, today has been a long time coming. I am very excited for today's episode because we are going to the band Big Big Train for the very first time. For months, people have been telling me about this band, and uh, I finally have come to the point where it is their turn. And uh, I'm excited to dive into this group for the first time. I hope you all are as well. The the piece that we have picked for today, uh, like many of these prog bands, uh, their best songs are very long. <laughs> and uh, I went to the Big Big Train community on Facebook and I said, hey, y'all, I'm going to be doing one of their tunes. Which one should I start with? And they suggested a bunch of songs and they were all quite lengthy. And I was like, can is there any one of lesser length that we can start off with? And the overwhelming suggestion for a piece like that by this band is called London Plain. So that's the one that we're going to be going with today. Uh, this song is from Folklore, uh, the ninth studio album by Big Big Train, released in 2016. This group is from Britain. Uh, the piece itself was written by Greg Spotton, and uh, the song is the second track on this particular album. They have several people in the band. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight people. Uh, David Longden, uh, Longden, I should say, on uh, lead vocals, uh, flute, acoustic guitar, mandolin, and percussion. Nick Di Virgilio, we've seen him in some other bands, uh, on the drums, percussion, and backing vocals. Greg Spotton on bass, bass pedals, acoustic guitar and backing vocals. Andy Poole, acoustic guitar, mandolin, keyboards and backing vocals. Dave Gregory on electric guitars. Danny Manners on keyboards and double bass. Uh, Rachel Hall on some string instruments, violin, viola, and cello and backing vocals. And Ricard uh, Herblum, I believe. Uh, keyboards, electric guitars, accordion, backing vocals. Wow whole bunch of stuff. So I have some information uh, from uh, Greg, Greg Spotton's uh, Big Big Train blog spot post about this song. I thought it was very interesting and I want to give you some information about it because otherwise I don't think this song is going to make much sense. But this is quite interesting. Listen to this. So he says, London Plain is a type of tree. Uh, it is resistant to pollution and common in the parks and streets of London, uh, most growing to over 100 feet tall. Uh, the tree began being widely planted around the city around 1700. And because of its resistance to uh, pollution and other uh, things, no London plain uh, tree has ever died of old age. Uh, so the point of view of the song is that some of the uh, human stories uh, of London from the mid-1600s to the present day are told roughly chronologically from the perspective of a London plain tree growing and living alongside York Watergate. So, of course, I had to look up the York Watergate, having never been to London, and it's a real place. Uh, it's a historic gate built around 1626, uh, in the grounds of York House as a parking space for the Duke's boat. <laughs> uh, but with the uh, the embankment nearby built in the mid-1800s, I believe the 1860s, the river doesn't swell as much as it used to and go up to the, the gate, right? So uh, it leaves the gate marooned in a lovely park along the river. Uh, and I looked up on the map. It's a spot where the river turns, and it's kind of between Westminster Abbey and Big Ben to the south and Tower uh, Bridge and Tower of London to the east. And uh, yeah, quite a great spot there in downtown. Uh, the tree itself provides the song with a perspective and an element of stasis around which time passes as England's river flows nearby. The passage of time itself then becomes the main subtext of the song. It's kind of a neat point of view, right? Write it from the standpoint or the point of view of a tree that has seen some stuff over the last 300 plus years. So uh, that's what we're going to be uh, looking at. London Plain by Big Big Train. 
Um, I'm going to be looking at the studio recording uh, to this, so uh, I have been talking long enough. Let's get to it, y'all. London Plain by the BBT guys. Here we go. D minor. Little Lydian stuff there. The river bank and the mud lock search on the shore where the water men set sail for the towns upstream Ooh. upon a golden course to running. funky D minor 9 chord-ish there. Flute adds a really great perspective. That's that natural 6 hanging out over the minor key. Stars will lead you home. Um, sailing on the English way, racing on the high tides, here by the riverside, reaching for the day's last light. Great service. Little uh, 
section change here. I think it needed it. It was time for this. Put the prog and, and the progressive music with this. Some meter changes. I love the strings. This might be um, a depiction of the passing of time. Like, I'm imagining if this was a video, it would be like scenes throughout history, like catching us up to a different time period. Uh, and watching the seasons come and go with the tree uh, watching over everything, right? bass C it's very tasteful I'm enjoying this very melodic down back to the group back to the original groove right That's a, um, a reference to another one of their songs. The clocks are stopped and boats are cyclical repeating um, progression. Marimba, put the xylophone in there. And 
single strings, almost like single voices, as memories, those whiffs of memories, as they pass in front of our tree. And is that it? Ends on A minor 7. And it is uh, unfinished. The tree survives, y'all. Whoa. Um, you know, I had high hopes for uh, for Big Big Train, and they did not disappoint. It's almost like uh, the E Street Band of Prague. It's right that they. Uh, it's just right in the pocket um, of of what you would expect uh, to hear from a band of of wonderful musicians. I want to take a peek at some of the uh, the storylines in through here. Um, we start, um, you know. Uh, where the mudlarks search on the shore, where the waterman sets watermen set sail for the towns upstream upon a golden course to Runnymede, uh, where the water's edge meets the squares and streets, the river knows the mood of kings and crowns, uh, uh, of sorry, of kings and crowds and priests, because royalty is near there. Uh, that's where crowds gather along the the uh, the banks, and uh, there's a lot of churches along this uh, stretch as well uh they take tea in the gardens uh the stars will lead you home uh reaching for the last day's light uh the river flowing past and the tree just being witness to to humanity in the middle of london for 300 years i think it's a wonderful point of view for uh, a story of the human condition and of uh, how we are connected to our past and to our future and maybe that we should live in the present and look around a little bit as well uh thank you to a uh, big big train and to the big big train community especially on facebook uh, for helping me out we've got some more from this band for sure coming up i am interested in continuing to look into their music uh, i think it sounds really great Thanks y'all for being with me today. This has been fun. We will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.